What's up, guys? Welcome back to the freaking channel, baby. Hey, welcome back to another freaking video, man. Got me a bacon and cheese on toast, kind of. There's some falcons and hawks and pterodactyls flying around. In today's video, it's all about fishing lures, baby. So, y'all, I got like thousands, possibly, of dollars and fish and lures in this one basket, okay? And before we do go over the baits and the lures, y'all comment down below how much you think this whole basket is worth because we'll get to that by the end of the video, okay? Now, make sure y'all leave a thumbs up and if y'all are new, subscribe because this is gonna be a good one, baby. Let's get into it. Now, I sat down so I can eat and kind of tell y'all, like, really the backstory of how I got this basket, okay? You want something, bud? So, come here, bud. Um, but guys, a little backstory, really. We were just cleaning out our garage, right? Let's just say we had a bunch of shit in there, okay? So we got it cleaned out. I look down, I see some fishing lures. I'm like, oh, dude, this is a big thing, dude. I'm telling you, once I, hold on, because once I show you this basket, you're going to be like, yeah. Where'd you find that? A daggum garage sale, dude? No, nah, man, in my garage. But it wasn't out on sale, motherfucker. <laughs> it was free, dude. Come on with me. Hey, y'all, let's get in this video. I'm excited. I have, I have, I peeked in there a little bit, but not too much. I don't want to spoil it. Okay, I do not want to spoil it. So, without further ado, let's get into the video, man. <laughs> All right, guys, yo, like, this basket right here, this just a big pile of junk. All right, so first up in the basket, I've noticed these white boxes. Now, we got about a lot of them, okay? We, we got a good, we got a good amount, okay? Because these are all the same. These are these uh, X calipers, real crawls. This one, we got a little redder crawfish color. These are big, kind of big old square bills. These are big old square bills. So like, what, four feet, four, six, seven feet water, something about. So as you can tell, we got a lot of square bills right here. So I just look right here, dude, I see a legendary, legendary lure right here, man. Dude, there's a little Judah bug, there's a little wobble bug. Dude, whatever you call them, Jitterbugs, wobble bugs, uh, wobble baits, uh, walkers, anything, whatever you call these, dude, legendary, man. I've caught, I've caught so many fish off these lures, it's unbelievable. But y'all, that's awesome. And I did notice uh, when I threw them out, we have a bunch of umbrella Alabama rigs. Uh, just these right here. Here's a, here's, here's one by Yum. Here's one by Yum. It's uh called the yumbrella and guys with the uh we also got a, like a little tsunami reel man made by spear looks like um here we go uh type 5000 type 5000 right there yeah so that's a nice reel man that's a nice reel for sure the top we got something called bait buttons okay bait buttons um now i looked at it on the back and i'm looking at it right now how to use it you get these little strings put your hook on there then you have yeah as you see it that little white thing also bottom picture hold your trailers man hold your trailer hooks your your little grubs your trailers that you put on the back of your jigs your swim jigs your chatter baits anything like that so that is real neat that is a handy dandy tool right there and look right here man we got a little deep diving jerk bait just about looks like a bass looks like a whole bass a little spotted bass or something right there it's pretty cool coming out the top coming out the top i'm just picking i'm just picking oh uh, i'm just picking looks like we got dirty jigs for uh, dirty jigs tackle man we got uh, a couple chartreuse that are kind of the same right there got that uh kind of got that shad color look to it so let you look at those again these are these are actually retailed for five bucks for uh, yeah for 450 450 five bucks 
but these are these are pretty sweet pretty, pretty darn sweet man I, I need some new jigs i needed some new jigs uh what well, guys also look in here we got kai tech we got some kai tech swim baits trailers anything like that we got we got a bunch of those and we also have some hooks y'all uh i'm looking at the top we got some uh, we got some got a katsu hooks right and we got some uh eagle claw laser sharp ones these are the ogs baby if you don't know nothing about them these these are the cheap ones this ones you always get dude we got another freaking popper to add to the collection dude heck yeah baby that's awesome that's awesome i needed another popper that's awesome that's oh that's cool. uh, we got some also some soft plastics i mean y'all looking in this basket we've we've got thousands hundreds if not hundreds thousands of dollars worth of fishing lures in here i'm gonna look through it and we also have like what a cheesecloth well little, little gall or something galls or something yeah this came in here so if i ever got a boo-boo or something while i'm fishing i can wrap it up real quick but guys uh if anything interesting i'm gonna just sort everything out and i'm gonna just show every single one of y'all man okay because there's a lot of stuff to go through here and i'm just not gonna do it one by one after like 15 long minutes we finally got everything kind of sorted out now it really don't look like a lot but it's nothing but stacks stacks of it so it is separated so let's talk about it all right y'all it's pretty simple all right i'm gonna start over here and kind of work my way all over but anyway we got our eagle claw hooks we got our own little pile stack kind of like in this little general area right here we got these heavy cover hooks man got my got to uh, heavy hooks i kind of set them to a side because i love kind of like flipping in some heavy cover stuff like that we got some offsets right here we got the all the red colors um five off the four off the two off the whatever all right here and then back in the back we have all these bullet weights now i kind of ranged them to really small because i'm kind of surprised about these dude for two dollars i mean i dude look how small these things are man compared to there's one or actually there's two i want to show you yeah these bad boys compare these to these that's a three four ounce this is a 132s just one of the crazy thing to think about so we got the small little bullet weights right here we got kind of like the regular smaller than regular ones right there the blacks and then we got kind of like the regular medium ones right here but anyway move over here we got some wobble heads man nothing nothing but wobble heads we got freaking wobble heads for days dude we got like half ounce ounces uh i believe these are the no these are the half ounces yeah but um but dude we got wobble heads for days man wobble baby all right and then we move up to here man we got some more bullet weights looks like kind of kind of like the slideshow they're showing off all the different bullet weights we can choose from so that that's pretty nifty we got some freaking swim bait hooks man nothing but swim bait hooks uh, i think they're all the same size actually no these are a little bit smaller uh these are uh, five alt and these are five alt okay never mind they look smaller see these are 10 alt see these are the big daddies like this is my hand man my hand's pretty big that's a pretty big hook anyway we got a mountain literally a mountain full of soft plastics man from yum zoom z-man gambler whatever the heck yeah i mean i ain't even seen that i've thrown these before but not these okay not this certain bag i've thrown gambler before but not no not these I like this coloration oh this one's even worse the reaction innovations baby dang look at that girl right there i've got some strike king stuff right here what are these uh kvd man what the coffee scent actually y'all take a quick snow let me yeah, go, dude. That's some coffee stuff right there, boy. Uh, we got some more zooms. These are actually my favorite zooms. So I'm actually the motor oil U tail, little curly tail worms, little chartreuse tail. Yeah, these are nice. We got some old Strike Kings, bro. Check that out. But yo, I, I'm gonna really have to look this up and see what kind of year this was made out of because this is an old bag from like, what is it? That's like Donnie, Donnie Bur Brewers. If, if I read that right, Donnie Brewers. I don't know if I'm reading that right, but um, 
This is an old bag, and we got some seismic kind of lure companies. We got some frogs in there, kind of, kind of like a diverse version. We we got we do we got some soft plastics for days. Okay, move over here, man. We got some line. Okay, we got some stern. We got some sunline. What are these? This this is an off brand. I can't don't know what brand that is. Uh, this is a Cajun line. Some Cajun line right here, red. I don't know if I'll ever be using that. Uh, besides, probably muddy water or probably jugging. Probably doing some catfishing with it. They wouldn't matter. These dude frogging and flipping. These these are the, these are the uh, these are the two lines that I'm most excited about. So yeah, one of the rods is broke. Is one of my frogging rods, and I can't use it. So I'm gonna have to buy another frogging rod. But we got the line to freaking go on it. 60 pound test, 125 yards of each one. Shoot, man, it, the retail price on these things go for $25 each. So that's automatically $50 right there. 50 semi plus dollars. Moving over here, man. We got some more, we got some more soft plastics. We got some warrior baits. I really want to know where these came out of, what state these came out of, just because it says warrior right there. I'm not sure, um, but it'd be cool if these folks came out of the, like the warrior river over here in Alabama. That would be pretty sick. But we got some, like I showed y'all, we got some Kai Tech freaking swim baits, paddle tails, everything right here. Uh, we got them flukes. We got the other color flukes too, but we got the pearl ones. I'm trying to find the other ones for y'all. Yeah, the ones I showed y'all. Coming over here, man, we got, look at that. Gonna be fishing the tournament this year. Might gonna have to use these, dude. The, the culling kits, but y'all, the you put your fish on there, but that's where you keep your fish in the live well and everything, but y'all. Moving over here, we got some uh, badass spinner baits. Literally, badass spinner baits. Two willow leaves, you got a Colorado willow, uh, two willows, and then another two willows. So we got a nod man out of the bunch, but that's okay. We got three of the same spinner baits, and then we got one Colorado leaf. That's the one I might be, oh, oh fell under the truck. I dropped it, uh, dropped the spinner bait, man. I dig I'm dropped it, but uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna be using that one a lot. Just, and a little tip for y'all, if y'all are out here fishing a whole lot, the uh, willow leaves make it more shiny. It makes it more bright, more flitter, more flatter, more flicker, more everything, more shiny, more re realistically more visual for the fish. Okay, this is the this is kind of like the way to go. Hundred percent on a spinner bait. You got your Colorado leaf. That's mainly for your like vibrations, your sound, and you got your willow leaf. This is silver. This is gold. This is awesome that this is silver, the willow leaf, because it's acting like another fish. If y'all didn't know it, all these are acting like different fish. But that one, that one, I feel like the Colorado leaf just gives out more a lot of vibrations. It's just an overall all better spinner bait. Okay. Moving over here, we got our umbrella rigs, our Alabama rigs, whatever you call them. And then, y'all, I found a freaking scale, bro. So uh, we don't have a scale. And if we catch a big old hog daddy this year, dude, we can scale her up. We can actually uh, measure her, got a little measuring tape. So it comes with one, but yeah, dude, we also got a little descaler de right here. Hell yeah, sweet. Nifty, we got some bobbers right here. All right, hell yeah, some bobbers. Over here, I wanted to look at these real quick, but I kind of skipped them, but. So we actually have more little creek lures to fish with on the creek adventures. So yeah, we got, it looks like a little old rooster tail old landing right here, something. Old spinner, oh, okay. Okay, we're gonna have to put like a little, that's like an underspin or something. I don't know, probably put a little hook in the trailer on there, see what we can do with that one. We got another one right here, but this all rusted up. I already done opened it the first time I seen it. Yeah, all that stuff is gone bad. And coming back over here, we got our jigs. We got our jigs and we also got our square bills right here. We got our reel that we have, that we did find. We also got all these boxes, bro. All these little fishing trays, boxes. And also coming back over here, we do have more of these button, uh, of these bait buttons, bro. And I found these, uh, I actually found them, uh, that buttons themselves. So I don't have to go buy any bait buttons because they're right here. And what you do is you put them into there in the little slot and that comes out just like that. Put your hook in there. So that, that's pretty awesome, dude. That, that's, that's it. And guys, I'm not sure if y'all peeked it, but we got a mystery box, a mystery 
Tackle Box Pro. Oh yeah, so, dude, smelling out, dude, I don't know why, I smell garlic in here. I smell garlic, so, the moment of truth, we got the mystery box about to open up because I don't, I, I don't know what the hell's in here, okay, so, get all the dust off and everything, about to open up right here for y'all, make sure y'all hit that like button, baby, all right. What we got, what we got, what we got, let's look, let's look. Okay, but we do have a scent. We do have some scents, man. What is this? A bang? Bang tournament tested fish attractor. <coughs> oh, shit. Oh, shouldn't have sprayed it over there. But uh, we got some soft plastics, y'all. Uh, what are these little tubes? These are tubes. We got some zooms. Got some different color zoom. Oh, y'all, look what... Dude, dude, I've used these. Now, these these will catch them. Yo. Guys, and check what we got. We ain't got a skirt on it or nothing. Y'all can see what I'm about to pull out. A little frog, dude. Uh, looks like we got another soft plastic with a uh, live bait... With a live tar... Oh, a live target. Okay, I've seen these. I've seen folks use these. A live target lipless crank. This is... That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. But y'all, check that out. We got another freaking uh, Colorado leaf right there with the willow leaf. That's awesome. That's awesome. It's perfect. But check that out. We got a, oh, we got a live target. So this is basically, this is basically a mystery tackle box, bro. Live target, little crawdad, deep diver, what at, whatnot. Translucent. Looks pretty cool. Uh, dude, we got a chatter bait in here, man. Hell yeah. Little mug cricket bait. That's get it right there, boy. Dang. Well, we did have a buzz bait in here, but looks like the uh, skirt done came and melted off somehow. On the other hand, we got we got a jig. What y'all think about that little setup? That that little color setup will be pretty pretty good. Pretty good. We got decent amount of stuff in here. Stuff that might need a little work on. We need a, definitely little legs, little skirts for the frog for the buzz bait. It's all good. It's all good. Freaking shout out to NTB, man. Bro, back in the day, man, I grew up watching the folks like One Robin, One Real, Andrew Flair, Lunkers, uh, who else? Uh, Late Fort Guy. All them guys over there, dude. They, they did them MTB challenges. Those, those were cool. Comment down below if y'all want to see me do an MTB challenge. Like a whole 24 hours, we're going to have to try to catch... Well, I think it comes with five different lures, five, six different lures. But we're going to have to do an MTB challenge, bro, because that would be that would be sick. All right, guys, the moment y'all have been waiting for, okay, the, the cost of this whole basket, baby. What is the cost of this whole basket? Everything that comes in it, plus these nice little rundown, it'll be all right, little tubbleware tackle boxes okay the, to the total's gonna shock you okay i kind of added the the hard baits by itself like that jitterbug that uh long long bass kind of spotted bass jerk bait kind of deal because i actually kind of looked up the jerk bait the jerk bait itself is like 18 bucks it's almost 20 dollars. so that one little jerk bait's almost 20 dollars. i know for a fact i'm not under any money but i know for a fact i didn't count probably 10, 15, 20% of this stuff in here. The Alabama rigs. What up? <laughs> you got you got them kids. Hell yeah. What up? <laughs> Hell yeah. Freaking neighborhood kids, man. But shoot. But y'all, this whole box, everything that y'all see before you right now is a whopping $1,074. Now... Duh. When I looked at it, I was like, there ain't no way. I knew we was going to be around $1,000 for sure. I already knew that, okay? Not to count the things I didn't count in here, okay? Counting the things I didn't count, if that makes sense. Calculating to the phone is still in the basket. So we made probably well over that $1,100 mark. I'm going to have to be separating this and uh, my little toolboxes, I reckon. Uh, going to have to get a new tackle bag, I guess. But guys, walking back over here, we got everything. I, now I have to put it up in order. So that's going to be the... Oh, I dread for this moment. <laughs> you got some music playing. You're putting some lures up. you kind of like putting them where you want. It, 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 it gets fun. 
But guys, that's the end of this video. I hope y'all did enjoy it. Make sure y'all subscribe for more. Check out more of my videos right here. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video, man. No again.